Good evening, Mount Vale. Hello. Good evening, Mount Vale. Is everybody glad to be in God's house tonight? I know you can hear me because I can hear me. Can we give the Lord a shout of praise as we get things started on this Wednesday night? Can we put our hands together and show Him that we love Him? If everybody will stand for the reading of God's Word. Reading out of Psalms, chapter 36, 35, verse 27 and 28. Let them shout for joy and be glad. That I have flavored my righteousness, cause ye let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleased in the property of his servants. And my tongue shall speak of their righteousness, and of the praise all the day long. It's so true. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Let's give him a hand clap of praise tonight. I've got one short announcement. I'm looking for the, a couple of volunteers for the 815 service. We've got two 65-inch TVs to put up over there. And I need a couple of able-bodied hands to give us a hand. we got to run some cable and stuff for them and get them mounted to the ceilings. So if you're interested in giving us a hand, you can see me after the service or this coming weekend, whatever the case may be. Are y'all ready for church tonight? Did you come in prayed up, filled with the Holy Ghost, sanctified, set apart for His use? Let's take up some prayer requests before we get underway on this side of the building. Are there any prayer requests tonight? I've got one before anybody gets started, and that's Brother Jesse. He's having a hard time tonight. He's not feeling too well, and that's why he's not here with us. So we need to lift him up and keep him in our prayers. Does anybody else have a prayer on this side? Let's remember that tonight. Anybody else on this side? Anybody in the center, in the back? Okay, let's remember Chris tonight. Anybody else? Let's remember that tonight. Anybody else in the center? On the right-hand side, any prayer requests? Brother Mike. Okay. Anybody else? Sister? Okay. Sister? Unspoken request. Okay. Let's remember that tonight. How many have family members that are sick? How many have family members that are lost? How many have family members that have gone astray? We need to remember those tonight. How many believe that the time before his coming is short? How many believe that at any second he could step out on a cloud and come and take the church out? That will be such a glorious day, but the time is short. We don't have long. And I know the church has been saying that for over 2,000 years. But look at the things that are going on around us each and every day. It's just prophecy fulfilling before our very eyes. And the last prophecy to, to, to take place is His coming. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Let's go to the Lord in prayer tonight. Father, I thank you for this day. I give you all the praise, honor, and glory for each and everything that you're doing within this church and within the body of Christ, Lord. I thank you for each and every person who is here tonight and those watching by Facebook, Lord, and on the Internet. Lord, I ask you to move, to touch, to heal. Bring healing to sick, sick bodies, Lord. Bring answer to prayer, Lord. You've heard all the requests and petitions tonight. Lord, we ask you to bless the music. Make it pleasing to your ears, Lord. Empower the word tonight. Bring it forth with might and with power. And it's in the blessed holy name of Jesus we ask it. And the church said, Amen.
Praise the Lord. God is good all the time. Some of y'all didn't know that, did you over here? Y'all ever done that? God is good and all the time. Think about it. In the midst of where we're at, God is still good. In the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of rioting and looting and uncertainty in this country, my God is still good. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hey, it's good to see everybody out tonight. Let's do this. I know we've done it already once, but let's make our guests and visitors welcome. We're so glad you're with us tonight. So glad those that are watching live stream and, and, and Facebook and all that good stuff and Twitter. And it's not, is it Snapchat? Instagram? Somebody help me. Is there anything else? There's nothing new. Praise the Lord. I got them all. <laughs> Y'all don't know I'm a low-tech man in a high-tech world. Sheriff, how many you got tonight? He's got two. Somebody help the brother out. I, I don't know if I've ever known him just to have two. <laughs> so if somebody can give him a KJ, give him a 20 or a 100. It, that'll make him feel good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hey, we're going to get ready to take up our tithes and offering this morning. Ushers, if you'll, this morning. This evening, ushers, if you'll come. <laughs> Woo, been a long day, I guess. Praise the Lord. Hey, it's morning somewhere. Somewhere the sun's coming up. In the Philippines, I've been over there. What time is it now? Is it after 6? 6? 6.20? Oh, it's after 7. So it's it's 7 o'clock Thursday morning over there. So then it started today. Buffy's laughing at me because I'm looking for a clock and I can't find one. 7.13 right there, a big one. So it's morning somewhere. So, whoo. <laughs> How many know you can have a good time in the Lord? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's get our tithes. Let's get our offerings ready. Hey, look at here. She already knows what to do. She done brought her money up, didn't have to ask nothing. Y'all can't see her, but she's about yay big. <laughs> so, oh, praise the Lord. Hey, that reminds me just real quickly in the scripture. The Bible says that the Lord loves a cheerful giver. That word cheerful almost can be translated as hilarious. You ever laugh so hard that you begin to snort? Come on now. You ever laugh so hard you can't catch your breath? I was laughing at Jerry the other day out on the boat. I'm telling you what, I laughed so hard I, I couldn't take it no more. I, I just had to lay down the fishing pole and catch my breath. So in turn, thinking about that is, is when you give unto God, sometimes we come giving unto God feel like out of necessity, out of begrudgingly, if you will. But the Bible says that the Lord loves a cheerful giver. He loves it that hilariously you will come and give unto his kingdom. And the reason we're able to do that is because we know where and what that's for. 
first of all, it's to build the kingdom of God. It's to spread the gospel. It's, to, it's for this building, if you will, so that we can gather together. But the main thing is, I think if we ever get and understand that if you give, God's going to give you a bigger blessing than you gave. And how much more hilarious could you get knowing if I just give 10%, God's going to give me 60 more percent or going to give me 100% on top of that or 120%. It, that ought to make us hilariously give. Amen. The little ones are already giving. I, I'm, just, I'm just waiting so you adults to get, get their faith built up. Okay? You're, they don't have to have it. They got it. Amen. So with all that being said, let's, let's pray over our tithes. Let's pray over our offering this, this evening. Father, we come to you tonight, God, giving you thanksgiving and praise. We thank you for your mercy and your grace and your loving kindness, God. We thank you, God, for the blessings that you bestowed upon us and you poured out, God. Lord, we thank you for everything you're doing in your people's lives, Father God, and in this church, Father Lord. Lord, we ask you right now to take the tithes, take the offerings, bless it, multiply it for the use of your kingdom, Father God. And Lord, bless the gift and the giver as they bring forth their tithes and bring forth their offerings unto you tonight, Father Lord. And we ask it in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Welcome to Mount Bell Church, a healing church for a hurting world. My name is Lisa Norton. On behalf of Pastor T.H. Farrell and the Mount Bell staff, we would like to welcome all guests and visitors. Please stop by the Connections Desk for an exclusive welcome gift just for you. We are so excited to be back inside the church worshiping together as a body of believers who love God, believes in reaching people, God's heart, and His purpose for our lives. Now, please check out these upcoming happenings. Every Wednesday, grab yourself some coffee and the Word of God and join Assistant Pastor Philip Ruth for the new weekly interactive Bible study on Facebook Live at 8 a.m. The Bible study will be in an open forum where you can interact, ask questions, and participate in the discussions. Again, that is every Wednesday at 8 a.m. on Facebook Live. Unashamed Children's Ministries will host What's Controlling You? Children's Revival on July the 9th, 10th, and 11th at 6 p.m. nightly. Prizes will be given away each night, and there will be a pizza party the last night. To purchase your t-shirts, hats, tumblers, or decals, check with the Connections desk. All of the proceeds for the sale of this merchandise will go toward the expenses for Mount Bell's second annual camp meeting, which will be held beginning the week of August the 9th. The lineup of guest speakers include Dr. Timothy Hill, Dr. William Butler, Pastor Tommy Bates, Bishop Douglas Small, Administrative Bishop Wayne Doherty, Pastor Teresa Arwood, and Bishop Mike Addison. To continue following what the Mount Bell is doing, you can like and follow us on social media or visit us on the web at mtbellcog.net or grab a church bulletin. Just remember, we're saving you a seat. And until next time, God bless. Oh 
God like Jehovah. There's no 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 God like Jehovah. Behold, he comes, riding on the cloud, shining like the sun, at the dropping coast, lift your voice, hit the year of jubilee, out of Zion till salvation comes. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blood flows through my veins. 
streets. Come on, let's sing it now. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Oh, because I am a child of God. I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave to fear. Oh, because I am a child. God. Come on, let's sing it again. I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave to fear, cause I am a child, cause I am a child of God. One more time, come on, sing it now. I'm no longer a slave to fear, oh, cause I am a child of God. Used to live the sea so I could walk or ride through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. You rescued me so I could stay child of God. Let's do that again. Come on now. Oh, you split the sea so I could walk right through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. You rescued me so I could say Come on, one more time. Let's sing that one more time. Come on. Oh, you split the sea so I could walk right through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. You rescued me so I could stand and say, I am a child. God, I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave to fear, cause what, I am a child, cause I am a child of God. I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave to fear, oh, cause I Let's sing that I am, I am a child of God. Come on, we're children of the Lord. I am a child of God. I am a child, yeah. I am a child of God. One more time, I am, I am. If you belong to him tonight, give him a good praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Brother Charlie. Good to see you in the house of the Lord tonight. Let's give all our guests and visitors a good warm welcome. Glad you're here. If I was a visitor, I wouldn't come back no more than you're clapping. I'd give them a good hand, Fies, y'all. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You guys feeling it tonight or no? Hallelujah! There you go. We got a few of them. There we go. Get them around up. Are we doing, I, for, I forgot to add, we're doing children's church, three to five, youth, all that good stuff. So at this time, three to five, children's church and youth, you are dismissed. Let's give our young people a big hand as they're being dismissed. So good to see you in the house of the Lord tonight. Reach down, pick up your Bible, stand with me for the reading of God's word. Amen. I want to jump right into uh, what the word of the Lord is tonight. Still talking about strong in the Lord. I feel like too many people are living beneath their privileges. I don't think they have the power in their life that they need. Amen. I want you to understand something. You are meant to be 
the head and not the tail. He gave us hinds feet to climb, amen. And you are the predetermined winner of every fight that you're in, every battle, every circumstance, amen, if you'll just hold on to God, amen. And uh, I want to marry a couple of scriptures together here and do some teaching more than preaching, maybe. I don't, I'm not going to promise that, but I'm going to try. Ephesians 6 and 13, if you're there, say amen. If you're not, look upon the board. So said, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you may be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And this is my key verse, but it's going with the next verses I'm bringing. And Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. I want to talk about the sword of the Spirit tonight just a little bit, which is the Word of God. Mark chapter 4. Turn with me to the book of Mark, Matthew, Mark. Second book in the New Testament. Mark's testimony was this in Mark 4 and 14. The sower soweth the Word. Jesus just got done telling the parable uh, of, of the, a sower went forth to sow. He said the sower is sowing the Word. Uh, Ephesians 6 and 17 said, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Your only offensive weapon that you have in this whole armor it to fight back with is the sword. And if you don't know how to use the sword, you're going to lose the fight. Somebody say amen. Verse 15, and these are they by the wayside, where the Word is sown, but when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and takes.